And now, live from Chazland and KCHZ, it's the Chuck Timuel Show. <sighs> donkey, donkey shine, my lieben. This is Chuck. Chuck the Duck Demuro. This is the first episode of what I like to call What's Up Chuck. Uh, I had, had a friend ask me what some of these songs were about, so uh, we kind of kicked it around. He thought maybe it'd be interesting to get the straight skinny on what in the world all that was about. Well, that's for me to know and you to scratch your head about. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, song number one, Hallelujah. That's uh, that that song came from a <clears throat> dream, a very vivid dream about being hit by an asteroid. Where I, I actually ran in the house when I saw it coming at me. Ran in the house to get a gun, <laughs> cause I'm just that sharp. So I run back out of the house in time to see it crash into me and end up writing a song about it. Uh, song number two, The Ground. <clears throat> That's a very old song that was a Johnny Law song from decades ago. We used to play in the bars and uh, it was written about Reginald Denny and Rodney King. If you can remember that far back. And song number three, I Believed in You. That's a very recent song. One of the last I ever recorded before my equipment went to pieces on me. Uh, it was just bringing my massive classic rock prowess to bear on uh, another whiny song about my failed attempts at love, I suppose. <clears throat> And uh, song number four, Holy Moses, that is a brand new song that just finished the lyrics to this morning. I think I just posted it, posted it, 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 it this morning. Of course, I can't really recall, but <clears throat> that's, uh, that song is for my niece, Jessica. She's a firecracker and... She's got her own web page and it's called Holy Moses and Motherhood. It's a very uh, inspired young lady. Uh, the next song, <clears throat> Quietly, that also was just finished this morning. I, I couldn't even play it for you because uh, I, I have to learn it off the video. It's just that new. But it's the battle hymn. Uh, <clears throat> next song is Better Days. That, that, that song actually sprung from just a little, like three chords I used to hit to make sure that the guitar was tuned. <laughs> and uh, after a few months of that, I, it just turned into its own song. Uh, it's about being old and looking back at America. And the way it is now, which goes right along with Peeking in the Windows, the next song. It's also brand new, just finished the lyrics to that. And it's inspired by the Corona Con. And I'll just say no more about that. Uh, next song is One. That's uh, just, just more. Oh, if you listen to that, you'll hear you'll hear pieces of uh, all kinds of classic rock songs in there. Uh, I can't think of people's names with this damn song going on in the background. So tell me if you can see who it is. Uh, the next song is. Uh, Leave the Keys, and that is not a love song. That song was inspired by the letter I got from the filthy rich 
international bankers who swindled me out of my house asking me to leave promptly and please leave the keys. <clears throat> and I won't say any more about that either. Trail of Tears. That's about my son's mom, Kathy Bo Bathy. Um, and Disappear. That's about, I don't know if you've ever been at people's houses when they're like disciplining their children in front of you or fighting with their wives or, and it makes you just cringe and wish you could disappear, you know. That, that's a pretty recent song. That's from, uh, 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 very recent. Um, next song, the last song is Walk Alone. And uh, uh, that's basically my life in a nutshell. But the funny thing about that was that my uh, granddaughter was hanging out with me a lot when that song was first being hatched. And she was hearing bits and pieces of it here and there while we were hanging out. And she'd go, gosh, Grandpa, why do you always write such sad songs? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Me and her kind of shared the same struggles in our childhood. So, even though it was about me, it sounded like it was about her, but by the time I finished it, some of it was about her. <clears throat> and then that's about it for the first installment of What's Up, Chuck? <laughs> Up, Chuck? That, that would be all that stuff on the live from the coffee table series uh, that this video goes with, or radio broadcast, or whatever it is, live from KCAZ, CHZ. -na -na -na. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today, boys and girls. Goodbye and good luck. That's far as I can go, I guess.